Well, I'm, I'm really excited about a lot of his ideas, uh, especially when it comes to bringing the soldiers home. I've been serving for 10 years now, and all 10 years of those have been during wartime. I'd like to see a little peacetime army, and I think he has the right idea. Now, you have done two tours in Afghanistan. You told me you're going to go back for a, for a third tour. I mean, if you can see your, your neck right there, what you have on your tattoo, 9-11, remember, and a picture of the Twin Towers. You know, some Republicans out there have been saying that Ron Paul would be very dangerous for this country because he wants to bring troops like you back from your post from all over the world. Well, I think it would be even more dangerous to start nitpicking wars with other countries. Someone like Iran, Israel is more than capable of. All right, we just lost our connection, unfortunately, with Dana. Dana, stand by. If you can hear me, we're going to get back. You want to go to Kenny Crowley over at Mitt Romney headquarters. Uh, people are beginning to fill up that room over there, Kenny. Uh, they are indeed, and we're starting to grab some folks uh, here. And I want to introduce Senator John Thune, who I know I don't have to introduce you, Wolf, but to our audience. You always know when a politician looks this relaxed, it's not your election <laughs> night. <laughs> That's true. But Senator Thune was at uh, the caucus in Ankeny tonight, speaking for Mitt Romney. Listen, we're watching these poll numbers come in. We see Romney now at about 23, 24 percent, less than he had last time around. What does that say about Mitt Romney in Iowa? Well, I think uh, it, it's an entirely different race this time around, Candy. You've got 